Yo, what is up YouTube? Are you winning boys? I hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning. My name is Bart or Born to Win and today we're going to continue our adventure in Dart 5. This is going to be chapter 5 of this let's play already and in case you missed the last episode we completed another 5 races. The Land Rush, the Stampede, Icebreaker, Ultra Cross and then another Land Rush. And in this one we are going to try to complete a couple more races starting with the rally raid in china so without further ado let's go for it we have a lot of work to do let's go for the beamer because i did not like that last car <laughs> i'm just using this car as an excuse to um to well to to um to find an explanation for my low position in the standings in the last race here we are jurong river afternoon light rain let's get ready in our beamer and let's go get another win So, knowing my luck, this race is going to be full of straights uh, so that the other car would be absolutely perfect for this but no, I chose a Beamer and of course the last race where I went for the car with a good top speed it was full of turns and donuts and uh, 180 turns and everything No, so far it looks a mixture of both we do have some very very tight turns but a few straights as well I don't even think I'm gonna try to complete the challenges in this episode or in this race we need to jump and trade paint three times for me it was even difficult to do it one time whenever this challenge came up so three times oh not a hope I think not a hope three drifts maybe we got one of them with the help of this guy. Look, thank you very much for helping me to complete my challenges, Mr. Ortega. Thank you very much for worrying about my stamps. Whoa. And there's the, another drift. So that's it. Only thing that is left is jumping and trading paint. Yeah, it's gonna be quite, quite difficult, if not impossible, to do it three times. I don't see any hills here anyway, or any jumps. So. How do you even want us to do it? How do you want us to do it, game? Okay, you're driving on the pavement now. A nice change from all the mud and the puddles. And before I say it, we are back to puddles. <laughs> Come on. About 60% of the race now complete. We are in first place. We completed as many objectives as we possibly could. So the only thing left to do is to take home the win. Okay, that was a bit of a bad break in. Too early, too early. Alright, I always go too early. <clears throat> no, <clears throat> yeah, no, that was a joke. That was a joke, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's keep driving and let's forget that I said it. Come on, no. Yeah, <laughs> he just bumped into that pillar. And out of nowhere, these two guys come and take the first spot from me. Come on, don't be like this, guys. Okay, we just retook it. But I can see the headlights of my enemies, my opponents, in the back of my car. Come on. Please don't overtake me, please! Okay, we take the win. Just about the unicorn wins again, boys. Just under three minutes and we take this race. And we won by what? A little over a hundred milliseconds. Very, very cool. We take the win. Let's see how much XP we actually got for this. 150 XP points, we are still level 13, but we should level up, no, we are still level 7 of reputation, we did not actually level up, but we should do um, just that, level up our XP level and uh, our reputation level, yeah, no, sorry, I'm not listening to this, sorry, thank you, <laughs> no, I mean, these guys, they just keep talking for a minute or two, and we have so many races to complete in this episode that we cannot afford to lose any time, so, here we are in Brazil, in dawn, in heavy rain. Let's see if we can maybe take another win here. Yep, 
it's nice to listen to maybe I, I don't know one or two of these podcasts but other than that I want to race I want to have fun it's not like they're telling a compelling story through these podcasts anyway it's like yeah yeah we're racing it's fun and challenging and everywhere every racer is the not the same it's different and yeah we race and that's about it I mean it's a nice addition to the game and it kind of creates a bit of climate but I mean if it does not add anything to the story or it doesn't create any story I don't know what's what's the point what's the point you know I'm always all for um, enjoying my games and taking it easy and reading all the documents that we possibly get in each game just to enjoy it fully that's why we also always complete the game to 100% and we get all the trophies just to make sure that we have completed everything there is to complete in each game and uh, whoa and really finish each game off 200% before we pass on to the next one but to listen to this podcast that does not make much sense what whatsoever and does not create any kind of backstory yeah I, I, I'll, I'll pass you know I'll pass unless I'm wrong and it does create some backstory which I don't really understand as of yet maybe we need to listen to more of these podcasts to actually understand but somehow somehow I kind of doubt it you know whoa look at those rain drops and <laughs> these guys nice finally somebody made a mistake in front of me it's not just me making a mistake cool we take the first spot we have completed all of the objectives as well in the race so let's see now whether we can take the win as well okay very nice nice and tight beautiful boys we are going very fast here in this part of the track I'm very impressed by our driving nearly a clean lap which I don't think has happened so far okay let's see if we can go for a clean lap without touching anything And of course take the win as well, because that's the most important part. It's not like I'm gonna be driving extra safe and lose my first spot just to complete some sort of a challenge in my head. So as not to touch anything. No, no, no. The win comes first. We are born to win for a reason, boys. Come on. We're doing fine for the moment when it comes to the clean lap. Still keeping quite a lead on our enemies. Nice. No, no, no. Okay, that was close. A clean turn here. Cool. Lovely two rainbows. One was not enough, there are two. Last corner, and here we are, we actually did a clean lap, which is lovely. And we get a trophy, practice makes perfect. Is that a trophy for a clean lap? <laughs> it could be, because I mean it's quite difficult to get a clean lap in Dirt 5, with everybody bumping around. But we take the first place, the unicorn is back boys, the unicorn is back on a winning streak. We take level 14 of XP as well, with 150 XP points and some more reputation. We completed all the tasks in this game, or in this uh, race, sorry, and we have taken the win, so I think we do deserve a nice level up. Let's see what the next event has prepared for us. It is an ultra cross in Norway, so let's go for it, boys. And we might actually invest into another car, because we can actually afford it. Whoa, 165k. An Audi S1. Whoa. I want this Audi, boys. I so want this Audi. Okay. Subaru. 
uh yeah i think you know first of all i'm gonna buy the subaru the time will come to drive the audi as well let's not be too impatient i want to try the subaru as well it was one of my favorite gay uh cars in the uh colin mccray colin mccray rally 2.0 back in what early 2000s on pc what a game what a game boys i was just a kid and I could not take my eyes off this game. I was like, whoa, it's so realistic, such good graphics. <laughs> and the game is so good. I had no idea how games could get any better than this graphically or physically. I was just amazed by that game. Whoa. This Subaru is very, very fast. But yeah, here we go. 20 years later, or maybe 15 years later. I don't remember exactly when I played that game. Must have been 2002-2003. So yeah, about 20 years later. Maybe a little less. We are in Dirt 5. And of course there is also Dirt Rally. The other series of Dirt. Which is more uh, about... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Which is more about, of course... Um, actual simulation and WRC type racing not this arcade brainless fun that is served to us by Dirt 5 of course both series have their fans you have to admit that even though Dirt 5 is not the most challenging game we are playing here on very hard and it's not very challenging at all it does have its charm this these shenanigans of driving on ice driving on the snow driving some weird weird vehicles in different weather conditions definitely keeps things interesting i have no idea where we can uh, exceed 70 miles per hour for 15 seconds okay maybe if we go slow here No, we still got 10 seconds only. God damn it, where can we actually do it? Don't tell me. No, it's not possible, come on. Maybe if we went exactly 70 miles per hour. Why is it so dark? I don't see anything. And look at the northern lights. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Oh my god, oh. That is absolutely beautiful, boys. What a track. I'm here with my jaw opened. <laughs> Amazed at uh, all these effects, all these weather effects in the game. Well done, Codemasters. Well done. I'm here praising Codemasters and probably this game was passed on to some other studio. Not even a Codemasters production. No, I think it is. I think it is. But that would be a bit embarrassing if that happened. Okay. I'm not gonna try to go for the challenge here. Boy, break, break, break. Cool. We were going really fast. And we are leaving all our opponents behind, like, look at this, boys. They have nothing on us, nothing, even on very hard difficulty. We are taking a win after a win, no problem whatsoever. Since when are racing games that easy? I'm not even doing great. My racing line is all over the place, even if I have a racing line, I could say. And things are just too easy. There we go, there's the finish line, we take another win. And the Unicorn is on an absolute winning streak, boys. Okay, we were four seconds, over four seconds ahead of the second guy in uh, Renault Clio. Thank you very much, nice and easy. And that's the third race of this episode. We got to level nine of reputation, 
22k which seems like the standard remuneration for a win in this um, acceleration series so nothing too weird for us at all and here we have the icebreaker event in new york i think we're gonna go straight for that and whoa fiat 131 yep i think i want to try this guy <laughs> definitely we've seen a couple of those icebreaker events already and i think one or two in new york but we are going to go for another race in this fiat 131 so let's get ready there's gonna be some action here believe me and we are gonna try to go for another win oh there's a porsche as well oh no oh no oh no Okay, maybe there's not going to be any action because I'm just going to... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm just going to restart. Not even because I want to get a win or something. I just want to stay competitive in the race. I don't want things to get boring after 10 seconds and us driving for 3 laps without anybody in sight because we stupidly uh, turned around our vehicle on the first corner. Whoa! Jeez. I'm pretty sure the people in the crowd are covering their heads because of this exhaust of mine. That sounds like gunshots. People are like, oh shit! <laughs> not again! But we're not in a school. Oh god. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we are last. So, this restart of the race did not really help much. Did not help much at all. Cool. That was a pretty good corner. But still, we are not catching up to anybody. We are not fast enough here. I mean, it looks nice the way we're driving, but it's not effective at all. Which should be our main objective. Whoa, yeah, 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 you just... You just do you, you just block my path. Yeah, perfect, thank you very much. Thank you for squandering any little possibility I had of actually gaining something in this race. That's very nice of you. So we have one more lap left. I'm not gonna restart it again. Unfortunately, we were not doing quite well as it was. And this AI player just made it way more difficult for us to achieve anything here. Or made it even impossible. Let's concentrate on the artistic side of our driving. Let's see if we can pull off some nice drifts. Okay, I did not mean to go for a donut. But I, why not? I mean, we still have quite a lead over the guy in the last place. Whoa. Not very artistic, this thing. Perfect. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. It does really sound like gunshots, god damn it. Okay, there is the finish line. Unfortunately, we come 11th. If this guy does not catch up with us, I don't think so. We come 11th in this race. Too bad. Um, I mean... Oh, Astrid, it was actually a woman. Uh, yeah, insert women driver joke. Unfortunately, it was not to be. It was not to be this race. We could not take a win. Not only were we not doing very well, the AI decided that it was not our day to actually win the race. Here is the fourth race of the episode and there is a Gymkhana event. So let's go straight for that, boys. And yeah, Peugeot 208, that's fine. We can go for that. Not an issue. This time it's going to be in Arizona. So let's get ready and get some points, boys. Let's do some donuts and drifts. Wow, 
Wait, what? Oh god, yeah. That's how I expected the first Jim Kana event to go. Wait, what? Oh my god, this car is so bad. This car is so bad, like, no joke. I can't do anything. No, I cannot do anything at all. Nope, maybe a donut. Okay, at least that worked out. Let's try it again. Nope. I'm way too much to the outside. Come on, please. No, once again, way too much to the outside. Okay, I'm not giving up. No. No, that is a one huge fail. My god, I just could not do anything in this car. I mean, I don't want to blame the car and that's it, but it was extremely difficult. Let me try it one more time. Let me try it one more time. Because that was absolutely horrible. I am ashamed of myself. But it's so hard to control it. Finally, did a donut. No. 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 <laughs> Okay, come on, finally. Okay, there's another donut. Not bad. There's some more points. No. No, and we just missed it. Okay, that was a bit better. How many points did we get? 9,000. So that was pretty much like the first Gymkhana event. Yeah, that's not too bad. I am happy with that. I mean, not happy. I, I accept that. <laughs> because that, that first attempt was not acceptable. <laughs> anyway, here is the next Icebreaker event. Let's go for the sixth race of this episode in New York once again. Uh, let's see what class of the vehicle we'll have right now. It's gonna be these uh, 90s rally cars. So let's go for the Subaru and let's try our luck in this icebreaker challenge. Let's see if we get any uh, better result than in the last uh, event. And it's also at dusk. Oh yeah. Boy, oh boy, it's gonna be tough. Just like the last one, maybe these cars, maybe this type of a car is gonna be easier to control than the Fiat. Okay, just a friendly lean on our friend. I can't see shit, come on. <laughs> this guy is like, who the hell is bumping into me all the time? <laughs> Okay, we've done the challenge at least. I had to sacrifice my car and bump into the barrier to actually achieve it, but here it is. And we're not doing too well either. We're always very, very wide. 
Sorry there. Sorry. Oh, this guy just ate shit. But that's fine. Whoa. My god. Yeah, that's way too wide. And we just keep losing time. The racing line is non-existent whatsoever. Oh boy, oh boy, come on. These are some tough, tough conditions to race in. And those two guys in front are going like mad. They're very, very fast. And our car turns like a tank. Or like a full shop trolley. We've done quite well in the first or the second one of these events, but then we are doing worse and worse with every try. Okay, here is the last lap, and there's the finish line. We came in in the third place on the podium. The podium for our unicorn, and our winning streak is unfortunately ended. But we have done so many races in this episode that it was quite hard. Oh my god, look at this bodywork. <gasps> I am so ashamed of myself, my god, this beautiful Subaru. <gasps> well, somebody's gonna have to do a damn good job at repainting this car, my god. Horrible, horrible stuff. <gasps> okay, so, this was another Fire on Ice event, an icebreaker in New York. We have completed as much as six races. Is it six? I think it was six, one, no, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, cool. We have completed six races in this episode, so quite, quite many, and we have, what, five more, more races to go before we can go for the uh, main events in the acceleration series, so we should be passing on to that in two episodes, and we will then pass on to the next series, we'll see which one follows the acceleration. Oh, it's velocity, I can see it here, cool. So we will pass on to the Velocity series after completing the Acceleration main events. That is absolutely fine and we'll see if we can maybe attempt one of these showdowns as well. That will be very very cool. But this is going to be it for today. This is go going to be it for uh, this episode of Dirt 5. This was chapter 5 of our Let's Play and I hope to see you in our next chapter tomorrow.